we just think so that we can just be delicate and spread everything or the corn and seed in the middle. So when the partridge comes, it triggers it. The stick goes up and we look at the partridge. There's no escape. We just go and free food. <laughs> I, I, I want you to describe the place that you grew up, what, what it looked like. You know, I move around a lot when I grow up. And what do they do with these monkeys? Mm, I don't know. Maybe they eat them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they take a picture, like a souvenir. You know, in the jungle. And if the tourists don't buy, we just sell to the soldiers. Right. So, we are going to make a movie about this, eh? eh? Well, actually, there's going to be two movies. The first one's going to be extracts from conversation I've been having with people like you. Nigerians? Uh, no. Refugees. I mean, like asylum seekers. Okay. Yeah. And the second movie is going to be a detail from one conversation, like a scene from someone's story, someone's life, your story. Yeah, which scene? I don't know, like any scene. Uh, could be a fragment or, uh, I don't know, my memory. I have many fragments. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, just imagine one of those fragments is going to be written into a script for the other film, which is going to look like an old sci-fi film with props and actors. And I want to be in the movie. You what? Can I be in the movie? <laughs> Can you act? Yeah, man. That, that's all I do since I come here. Well, well let's, let's just find out a little bit more about you, okay? Okay. All right. Um, I want to I wanna go back in time. You taught white people how to hunt. Mm-hmm. What do you know about hunting? All you need is twine and some sticks. Sticks. Yes. Okay. What type of sticks? You know, there are some types of sticks that will stay bent for several days, but when you release them, they immediately snap back to their original shape. van onze buurvrouw. Um, dat is een oude vrouw, die woont helemaal alleen en die hoor je haar ineens stemmen. De Arabische dan nog wel. Dus die dacht van, nee, maar, maar misschien is het ingebroken. De klerk, de tweede verdieping. Ik ken mijn adres. Nee, we gaan nergens naartoe. En dank u. Ze komen. And the car did stop. It fishtailed a little bit and it stopped. I was like, good. You know, I'm, I messed up his windshield. I didn't care about that. We I wanted him to stop. He stopped. But then a woman got out of the back seat and she started screaming, like wailing, like, like wailing. And uh, I didn't know what had happened. It didn't occur to me, you know, what had happened. I, I thought maybe I just scared her or something. So I just remember getting really apologetic. Like, hey, you're freaking out, I'm freaking out. She's like, what is freak? It, it, was, it was really funny because like, her, her English was like my German. I had to think about what I was saying. 
first in my head, and then it would come out. It would come out wrong, but it, it would come out to the point where she knew what I was trying to say. But when she was angry, just English words were coming out. They, they, it, they weren't sentences, the, the words were, just, it was just words. It was just random English words coming out, and it, I could not understand what she was even trying to say. And she told me cigarette burn, and that was it. I started freaking out. I was like, look, you're seriously fucked up. I'm like, how do you know you love me? We only met like a week ago. We're going out on our first date. You show me you love me by burning yourself.